Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I brought you back for another couple of little repairs. Uh, do you notice the traffic in this middle lane here? Seems like almost all the traffic is sitting in that middle lane. Um, the reason is, is because after they make a right hand turn, they want to turn left. So it makes sense to them and to me for them to use the outer turn lane to do it. Uh, that lane also handles straight through traffic. So the, what the backlog is all about is two destinations stuck in one lane. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get the right turners out of that lane and put them back into the right hand turn lane by using lane restrictions I guess is the best way to call it. Now see everybody who's turning left here they're going into that left hand or turning right they're turning right into the left hand turn lane because they're going to turn left at the intersection there or the intersection up here. So I'm thinking eliminate a lane. Right, so if I eliminate a lane it could help but in this case no. The people who are doing the outer right hand turn to make their left or next left or still yeah the trick here well when traffic looks at any lanes when they count the lane the furthest right lane is lane number one right so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna break this road in half right and and change it the first half is gonna be the four lane boulevard but the next half is going to be a single lane. So that at, that at the first intersection, all turns will happen from lane number one, which will cause them to pick lane number one to make their right-hand turn from, regardless if they're gonna go straight through the next intersection, right turn or left turn through that intersection. I think this is called pinching. Now watch how quick this works. There we go. Almost immediately, they're filling up that lane. So everybody in that lane is turning right. Regardless of what they're doing after that right hand turn, that is now a designated right-hand turn lane. Which means now that instead of a long... Wow, that backup is gone already. I guess it wasn't that big of a, big of a deal. But now you see how I manipulated that traffic and broke the... Oh, there they are, back there. Watch them change lanes. There we go, a couple of changes. Yeah, they're doing that very well. Nice. Manipulation of road pieces. In this case, it wasn't due to speed, it was due to changing the amount of lanes to better define what to do at, a, at an intersection. Yeah, I guess that's the best way to say it. Out here, see everybody wanting to use that ramp right that ramp also that lane also handles the straight through traffic too now I'm gonna use the same technique I'm gonna reduce the lane cut that piece oh, can't do that piece can't do this piece I'm gonna, yeah if I reduce that lane yeah that should create that to be a right hand or designated right turn lane. That's a designated lane now for the little off ramp. Slow down. Oh, I guess here I'm just gonna tidy it up a bit. Yeah, because it looked kind of weird having just a little a stub. But now, again, now more of the six lane, there, there'll be more lanes being used. Whereas before, we had straight through and right hand turn traffic in one lane. Now we've got 
the right hand lane is designated for the ramp. The left hand lane is, is oh, well, no, I guess it's shared. You can do a left hand turn there or go straight. Or just go straight. So now, instead of the one right hand turn or right hand lane being used, they should start popping out of that lane and getting into the next lane. Well, sooner or later, once they all start getting the message. So again, using road pieces, different road pieces to control the laneage and also control what they do and when they do it from. Essentially, customizing the intersection. It's one of the biggest tools I have to fixing anybody's traffic on any map, really. See, they're traveling much nicer now. They're still using that lane to go straight through. Uh, it'll take them a little bit, of, a little bit of time. It'll take them a second or two, or actually, in this case, I guess a minute. There's a lot of traffic in there that wants to go the original way. But that will do it for that repair. Hope it helps you out. Take care. Have a good day.